Hello all. Welcome to the Growthologist Junior. So in today's topic, we are going to learn about laws of exponents and powers. So these are the types of laws which we are going to study. So the very first thing is product law, next quotient law, next power law. All right. In product law, the operator is multiplication. In quotient law, the operator is division. Power law means obviously the bracket is involved over there. So in doing the product, then how do we do that? So what are the formulas? Yes, everything is given over there. If the product is involved, simply we have to add the exponents and if it is a division then we have to do the subtraction of the exponents and next if its bracket is involved multiply the powers so here we assure that the bases are same yes or no yes it is now let's speak about the power of the product law power of the quotient law means of course, there is a product and that whole is in the power. All right. Next, if it is a quotient law, of course, there is a division and the whole is represented in power of n. So, this way we have to represent it. The formulas are given over there. Now, any expression power of 0, the answer is 1. So, these are the formulas we are going to apply to solve the questions. Yes, in the power law, exponents are given with brackets. They are separated with brackets. In that case, simply multiply the powers. Now, in the zero exponent, anything power zero will obviously be equal to the one. So, this way we apply the zero exponent formula. Next, quotient law okay so there is a division involved and powers are same wow okay in that case what we can do is so we can do the particular operation which is a division and then change the sign to multiplication with that we have to reciprocate the second fraction last step simplify the fraction and the type 2 is basis will be same simply equate the exponents and coming to the power law here the exponents are same so the bases are different so apply the formula of power of product law and the same thing appears of applying the formulas for the quotient law and product law which is in power form so yes, we apply it this way. Hope you like the video. Stay tuned. See you. Bye.